Despite comics themselves still being seen as nerdy and uncool, comic book movies are currently at an all-time high. I enjoy comic books and I enjoy movies, so of course, I enjoy comic book movies. While Spielberg believes that these movies will go away soon, I wouldn't hold my breath. The selection we're getting is phenomenal, but I'm a whiny kid on the internet and I want more. So here are my top 10 comics that I want turned into movies. Chris Hemsworth is doing a pretty good job as Thor so far in the MCU, but the only thing I'd love more was if they got someone to be Jane Foster as a female Thor. Maybe Natalie Portman wouldn't be the best actress for the job, but Gale Thor is pretty cool and I would love to see a movie about her. Thor's films are seemingly coming to an end now that it's reaching a trilogy, so I feel that the time for Thor to pass the hammer is coming. A lot of change seems to be coming to the MCU, and the female Thor would work as a new hero, yet is similar enough to the MCU's current Thor that she would serve as a reminder of the first MCU Avengers team. There's a lot of complaining going around the internet over this Sonic the Hedgehog movie, and I'm sure you can guess why, but I believe there's a way that it could work. Take the announced Mega Man movie, and put them together to make a movie based on the Mega Man and Sonic crossover comics. While we're at it, ditch the live action bollocks and draw it in the same style as the Rockman anime. They may not have been good, but at least they were visually acceptable. The comic story actually kind of works, the action scenes would translate well onto the big screen, and it's a chance for the film to feature not only Sonic and Mega Man, but also cameos. Who wouldn't want to see Knights and Rio appear for a couple of seconds? I'd be in the audience screaming like mad if they popped up. DC seems to be struggling with their latest film releases, but hopefully Suicide Squad will not suffer the same fate. If Suicide Squad is successful, I don't see any reason why Harley Quinn can't get her own standalone film. Mad Love is the first comic that comes to my mind when I think of Harley Quinn, and I think a film could be good using the main storyline from Mad Love as long as you can successfully stretch it out to a feature length without making it feel awkward. There are loads more Harley Quinn stories out there, or they can make up their own plot for a film. Whatever the story, I'd love to see a Harley Quinn movie. Deadpool Kills the Marvel Universe is probably the most famous Deadpool story, but personally, I preferred Deadpool Kills Deadpool. I don't know how it would work, due to Fox having some of the rights and Marvel having others, but maybe they could sort out a deal similar to Marvel and Sony's deal with Spider-Man. The Deadpool film was really successful, so I'm sure we're going to be seeing loads more films in the future. Whatever happens, this is a fun story that I think would be enjoyable to watch as a movie. If Pride and Prejudice can get away with releasing a zombie movie, I bet Marvel could. As for the MCU, it could just not be part of it. If the trailers and movies started with this is set in an alternate reality to the main Marvel movies, I'm sure it would be fine. The Marvel Zombies comic itself is set in an alternate reality to Earth 616. Marvel Zombies was an interesting read, and I believe it could easily be translated into a good film. It's Marvel and it's zombies. Everyone likes Spider-Man, everyone likes women, so everyone will love Spider-Woman. Jessica Drew has great potential as Spider-Woman in the MCU. Spider-Man was done justice in Civil War, so now is the perfect time to bring in other Spider characters. This is a new hero where the mainstream audiences won't need to be convinced to watch a film. They'll more than likely understand the appeal due to her similarities to Spider-Man. As well as that, she's a great character who would definitely fit into the MCU and would be very engaging to watch on screen. Thanks to Jurassic World and its upcoming sequel, the public's interest in dinosaur movies seems to be high, as is their interest in Marvel movies. That's why there's a lot of potential for a devil dinosaur movie, and it could turn out well. Any kind of devil dinosaur film would be good. A film based on devil dinosaur and moon boy could be fun to watch, as could the Spider-Man devil dinosaur crossover, or maybe even something based on devil dinosaur's clone. Squirrel Girl is another character that Marvel could bring onto the big screen that mainstream audiences wouldn't be too familiar with, yet would still work well as an entertaining film. After the success of Ant-Man, it's clear that a fun superhero with the ability to communicate with animals can work. Not only would it be really interesting to watch her powers in a movie, but using her character would make sense in the MCU. In the comics, she helped out Iron Man, 
had connections with Jessica Jones and Luke Cage and defeated Thanos. This means she would be a perfect fit for Infinity War where she could meet Iron Man and bring in the heroes that were introduced on Netflix and then join the big team of heroes and potentially help take down Thanos. Now I know what you're thinking, oh police, but the hell the duck movie sucked, it's like the worst thing ever, why do you want another? And yeah, it's not great, but the Daredevil movie sucked, and now everyone's happy about that coming back as a Netflix series, so why can't we give Howard the Duck another try? He briefly appeared in Guardians, so he's MCU canon, and we've had two new comic series over the last two years. If they're stuck on the plot, they could base it on the 2015 comics. The 2015 Howard the Duck comics are the funniest comics I've ever read, with the massive success of Deadpool, and possibly Deadpool 2 by then, one of the 2020 MCU spots would line up just perfectly for Marvel to compete with the comedic and somewhat rude comic book market. If they follow the 2015 comic series plot, Howard would meet up with Spider-Man, the Guardians of the Galaxy, and many more familiar faces that I won't give away. Spider-Gwen became an instant hit after a recent introduction, and it would be great to see her get her own movie. Her story would have to be altered to fit into the MCU, but it would definitely be worth it to see her get her own film. I hope the writers for Homecoming won't use the generic Gwen Stacy and consider either her becoming Spider-Gwen or leave room for the character to become a hero later. Thank you for watching my video on the top 10 comics I want to see as movies. If there's any comics you'd like to see as movies, why not leave them in the comments? If you enjoyed, I'd really appreciate it if you left a like and shared this video with your friends. If you want to see more, why not subscribe or click one of the videos that are currently on screen. The link on the left will take you to a playlist of all my other countdown videos, and the link on the right will take you to my review of Civil War. So, um, what do you think of Captain America? Um, I'm siding with Team Iron Man because Team Iron Man's got you know, a bigger chance. And um, what do you think of Malcolm in the middle?